so i was actually not enjoying my work and when i was analyzing myself like the question comes into your mind like actually is this the field like is this where you are seeing yourself in coming yes next 5 years 10 years so the answer was no uh, the layoffs were going in order to the to the cost cutting uh, the company were deciding to like uh, eliminate some kind of goals um yeah to some type of business out of which yeah. like my vertical was also there so they decided to um close it so we got laid off hello everyone my name is abhishek and welcome back to my channel today i have with me sonia kaur who is currently working at flipkart her journey is very inspiring because she transitioned her career from a complete non it background she also faced a lot of struggles throughout her career so we will try to understand from sonia kaur how did she get into flipkart what are the challenges transitioning from non it to it background over to you sonia hi hello everyone thanks for giving me the opportunity to like being interviewed with you so um first of all uh, just after completing my graduation just after completing my bba i get into a company named spectra force technology wherein i was working as an us it recruiter okay and uh, there my roles and responsibilities were to be honest very much limited like i only have to like call the us clients and uh, like tell them about the several opportunities in the companies and if they are interested we used to take their first round of interview and then send it, send them to the company okay like they will themselves take their interviews and if they are a good fit they will take them so okay. this was which i'm um, like we used to get targets on weekly basis monthly basis and we used to achieve we have to achieve them so mm. i was actually not enjoying my work and when i was analyzing myself like the question comes into your mind like actually is this the field like is this where you are seeing yourself in coming yes next 5 years 10 years so the answer was no so then i tried to explore several other opportunities where as a fresher you can get into so mm. i got to know about data analyst business analyst roles and i was actually very much like interested into this kind of roles so then i thought to like learn what are the basic skills for like with mm. the help of which we can get into this kind of jobs yeah so i took a training i took training and um, there from there i learned the skills like like ms excel sql python power bi i learned the skills and then mm. i started applying i got an opportunity to work with swiggy as an mis analyst uh, mm. and i worked there for around 7 8 months 7 months okay. and okay. there also challenges came like uh, the layoffs were going in order to like to the cost cutting uh, the company were deciding to like uh, eliminate some kind of goals um yeah to some type of business out of which yeah. like my vertical was also there so they decided to um close it so we got laid off and thereafter i was not working for around one month i was again searching for some better opportunity so somehow i got an opportunity from flipkart and right now i am working as a financial analyst at flipkart very inspiring honestly uh, like if i look at from where you have started and where you are currently working it's very inspiring for a lot of people uh, everyone thinks about uh, transitioning their career into better roles and a lot of times non it people they find it very difficult to enter into it background but your journey is truly inspiring so uh, when you talk about uh, data analyst or data science roles Uh, of course yeah. coming from uh, the hr background they are too technical right because they have things to learn like python sql so hmm. when you were thinking about these things right, how are you looking at the road map to learn these things or did you have a guide who can uh, who was helping you to understand what was required to learn or did you go through any websites what was the structure actually okay so startingly to i firstly like started from myself only like youtube and all everything is there 
so i tried to see like what all are the basic skills like with yeah which we can get into this kind of fields like ms excel was there sql was there python power bi these are the basic skills which exactly. you need to know so i tried searching in google and um, like in youtube and all i watched several videos but the thing was like i was getting little bit confused like where to mm. from where to start and what should be the actual road map and then i tried searching for some institution like proper institution from where mm. Mm. uh like i will be getting a proper road map and i just have to learn the things and then i can get into this kind of field so okay. somehow i got to know about like coding school uh, it's an institute uh, which provides us like data science boot camp so they uh, so from there only like um, i decided to get into this institute and the talking about the road map like i just followed them only whatever they used to like okay. provide us the video online video classes the sessions and all i used to like thoroughly go from them i used to practice the projects and all questions and all like from the def- different Makes websites sense. in order to like increase my rank and all so i used to follow properly them only and i just used to practice everything like all the skills okay uh, sonia i'll come back to the structure of the course because i'm very interested to mm-hmm. understand but before that sure. usually when someone wants to transition from non it to it everyone just thinks mm-hmm. okay will recruiters even accept my profile uh, will hrs ask me questions like you know you are working uh, on a different background now why are you trying to transition mm-hmm. into this personally you being a hr i think you can answer that question much better so if someone wants to transition from a non it to it should they actually tell the recruiters and hr that previously they were working in non it or should they do some projects and showcase themselves as it professionals only what is your take on this a uh, show sure. so, like doesn't matter like um, we whether we are from tech background or non tech background Okay. um like if you have decided like if you have make your mind that i want to get into this field although it may be little bit difficult hmm. because for tech background student they get the opportunity little bit faster than the not yeah. tech backgrounds that is obvious but yeah like there are several opportunities there are many companies um which actually prefer the knowledge which actually prefer like whether you know the skills or not and not okay. your background too much Okay. so i just tried to like talk some of the like my mentors and all and they also like motivated me that yeah even if you are from non tech background still you can learn the things and just keep on applying mm-hmm. you just have to be consistent patient like there are many companies like even if you are doing hundreds and hundreds of apply there are some companies which will be giving you chance Got on it. the basis of your knowledge like not on the basis of your educational background so yeah. this is thing. yeah but yeah uh, but we should be like you should be be very honest like while giving your interview while presenting your profile Makes um sense. like you you can just tell them that although i am from non tech background but i am very much interested in this and i have learned several skills i have made well, several projects which mm-hmm. um you can see in my resume also and rest you can just check me you can take my interview and if you think i have a good fit for the organization definitely you will give get a chance okay and how are you actually trying for this positions like through linkedin or were you reaching out uh, through some referrals you must have definitely sure. looked for many uh, options right because you mm-hmm. again you are trying to transition from a different background so there is that barrier to overcome you might have looked at various things sure so um starting first to i learned the like everything skills whatever the skills were required i tried to learn them and i also made some projects and thereafter i started applying like um i was also dependent on my institute because it was providing us the placement assistance so okay. half i was um, dependent on them and half i was staying from myself also because we cannot only sit because i have also taken the gap yes i'm um, like it was a gap for around 8 to 10 months okay so now i wanted to get into 
like this field i wanted to start it again so i was trying from myself as well like there were several websites uh, several job port portals like mm-hmm. linkedin a uh, nokri monster i was i made my resume i uploaded on each and every of them and uh, but somehow like um, i got the opportunity uh, from odin school only like this swiggy okay. where i was working uh, oh, as okay. an mis analyst so that opportunity i got from odin school only like they used to um, help you to get into the op- um, jobs as well like they after the completion of your course and they will be giving you like they will be helping you they will be taking your resume and they they have several tie ups with other companies as well so they will be sending out your resume and if you get selected then um the interviews will happen and you will get the offer so got i it. got the first opportunity from there only got it so basically we were, we have been talking about projects courses right so what is the structure that you have learned the data science because coming again from a uh, non it background you need to learn everything from the basics like python yeah. you must not have a programming background before so right from hello world everything is new to you if i am right a lot of non it background people they tell me a lot of times that scripting is very difficult for us it's very mm-hmm. hard to learn so how so yeah actually i started from very base basics because i was all new in coding like i don't even knew the c abc of the coding um if we want to know the like proper road map first of all we should learn ms excel then sql and then power bi and then python and if you want you can also learn machine learning and like this and Got surely it. um you can start up like and uh, one more thing like we don't well, like it is not required like to learn the very advanced in like you don't required to be advanced in each and every skills like even though hmm. you know the basics and somewhat a little bit of a uh, intermediate level you are in you can just start applying and hmm. by that time um, like side on side you can just keep on practicing and improve your level got it so uh Sonia we were also talking about uh, placement assistance right so yeah. when you are talking about placement assistance you must have done some projects during your training right you must have done some real time yeah. projects also putting those real time projects on your resume is a challenging thing after that getting your resume shortlisted applying for companies again it's another challenging thing right so does placement assistance also include uh, helping these non it students understand how to prepare a proper resume how to add your projects to your resume and how to talk to the uh, recruiters is everything included yeah like um, when i started like first of all they will be help like giving you all the technical sessions wherein okay. we will be learning all the technical skills but yeah, side by side there were some career session also um where sessions like um, how to build your resume how to build your linkedin profile uh, how to you know like they they used to also take your mock interviews just to give mm. you a practice like if you want to oh. improve your communication skills okay. like that so career sessions were also there from where we used to like learn a lot like how we can make our linkedin profile how we can improve our resume so everything were included Oh, very nice. Mock interviews also because they are also very. Yeah, very mock important. interviews will be there. Like uh, even though you are getting any opportunity from, like you got your resume got selected. So mm-hmm. before the actual interview, they will be taking your mock interviews. Um, wherein they will be asking you some technical questions just to, like, you know, um, encourage you, like yeah. just to see like how well prepared you are. So they will be helping you out with these all things also. Got. It. So if someone. who wants to enter into the it background would you recommend data science or data analytics to them and if you recommend how do you see the future of it because now i think you worked in two big companies you have some exposure to it how do you see the future of it okay so yeah definitely like i will recommend like those who ever are like have decided to get into this kind of field like if you have make your mind you love like 
playing with data you want to get into this type of field so definitely you can don't okay. think too much like it all depends upon your interest like when you are interested in something you are actually enjoying your work you will be able to give your best so yeah. definitely you can get into this. i will also, recommend and the future is really great like everyone is doing great there are a lot of opportunities opening and yeah and also uh, can freshers apply to this profile uh, or is yeah. there any entry barrier uh yeah there are a lot of opportunities like i also got an opportunity as a fresher only fresher. Yeah. so there are several companies um which are giving you an uh, like opportunity to join as fresher as well although uh, experience one are more but uh, still you will be getting opportunity you just need to be consistent you uh, you just have to keep on applying the opportunity will come to you got it got it yeah one final question before Uh, i conclude this podcast so usually there is data analytics there is data science and people get confused should i start with data analytics or should i start with data science because you have started your career in this field is there a drastic difference between starting career as data analytics and starting career as data science or both of them are almost the same it's almost um like it all depends upon your interest only Okay. because um, the roles and responsibilities are a bit different like there is a difference between data analyst like the role the job which you do as a data analyst and the job which you do as a data science there is a difference so it all depends like um, in which hmm. you want to get into okay. so what kind of um, roles you want you are interested in so depending upon your interest you can get uh, like into this fields awesome thank you so much uh, sonia for taking your time out today and talking about your journey data science uh, data analytics and i'm very sure a lot of people watching this podcast will have insights to take back from this so that was the podcast if you're also interested in transitioning your career into data analytics data science or web development odin school has some really cool boot camps click on the link in the description to get more details about the odin school boot camps